Hey, what's up guys? It's Jason from Eustace Roofing. <clears throat> We're gonna do a roof talk today real quick on a metal roof. This is a standing seam roof, and this is what we always see. This is a municipality, a city that had a roof done, and by the rules or by the regulations, sometimes they always go with the cheapest bid. And actually, the other day I was talking to somebody who makes the decisions, and they say, of course, we always pick the cheapest bid. Well, what you get with the cheapest bid is a big difference from a local company that wants to do the job right. Sometimes it's gonna cost more money to do the job right. Now, in the end, the cheapest bid is gonna cost way more long-term because like I'm gonna show you on this roof, this totally whole roof is totally bad. It needs to be replaced because it wasn't done right the first time. So I'm gonna show you a couple little details, then I'll get off the ladder and show you some other stuff that needs to be fixed. But the only way we can fix it is to just replace the entire roof. Something that drives me nuts is the drip edge. So we talked about drip edge in some of my other videos. We like to have what's called a bull nose where you get an inch and a half lip, take the water away. And then we also close what I call the doors on the metal panels. This one isn't done, I'll show you. Right here, so there's no bull nose. So this drip edge should stick out an inch and a half to get the water out, but it doesn't. It folds back underneath and you get all this nastiness. That's why I always talk about making sure we get the water off the drip edge so it doesn't look so bad. But also, if you can see up in here, the water gets in here and starts to rot the fascia out, the sheeting, and then also right here, this should be closed shut so you can't get up inside of there. But you're gonna get a ton of water that circles back, goes inside of here, and then you're gonna get all this staining here because it's not done correctly. This is incorrect, but guess what? Here's your cheapest bid. This is what you get with the cheapest bid. So if you look right here, big old gaps, and this metal right here should extend out. This should extend out so the water drips way out here and if they would have had a bull nose on here, it wouldn't have done this. And then if you look right here, here's rotted fascia. And look at this, it's just nasty, guys. Look how nasty this is. This is just folding up underneath. It should have a bull nose drip edge. It sticks way out here. Same thing, they never close these off. So guys, it's really, really important who you hire when you come to do any roofing, but especially metal roofing, guys. We I see this all the time, and I wanna save you some money, some headache, so you don't have to go through this yourself. So here's a really expensive metal roof system that the only way to fix this the correct way is to remove the entire system. So don't catch yourself in this position. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jason from Eustace Roofing. We were talking about metal roofing. We we're talking about a job site earlier. I showed you guys that wasn't done correctly. We wanna show you the right way so we can protect you, the homeowner. So we're on another standing seam roof. This is a panel that we made ourselves with our machine. We have our own engineering on, but one of the differences is the drip edge. So this is what we call a bull nose drip edge and it sticks out an inch and a half, gets the water way out away from the roof. And in the video you'll see earlier, we were showing you a job or comparing to another job where they didn't have that lip on there. So if you look at this, this is the lip and then the metal panel hooks on it. So basically we made our own custom drip edge. We made it a little bit bigger for this job too because it had a, a stain behind here. We wanted to cover it up. So we made a bigger piece and then this goes on and then in the end the panel comes hooks and it gets crimped so it's a really really nice system a lot different than the job i was showing you guys earlier in the video where it wasn't done correctly so this is what we call standing seam roof it's got no exposed fasteners just a really clean look and then if you notice we talked about earlier we closed all what i call the doors so you can't see up inside of here it's a really really nice clean look and that's what we're going for so that's what you want to have when you're putting a premium roof system on. All right guys, so we're always talking about equipment, process, things that make your job more efficient, cleaner, and nicer for you, the homeowner, or giving you that quality that you're looking for. But at the end of the day, the secret sauce, the key ingredient is people. Just like these two guys right here, we got Manny, we got Columbia here. They know how to run all the equipment, they know how to make all the material, but at the end of the day, they want the same thing that we want and you want as a homeowner. They want your job to look awesome. They have pride in what they do. So the key ingredient to all metal roofing and roofing in general is your people. And so our job is to give these guys the tools that they need, the conditions that they can work in, and really build a company culture so that they can thrive in what they do. So these are the guys that make it happen. It's not the machines and stuff like that, it's actually people. So. Guys, this is Manny. He's been with us for a long time since I started doing roofing. And then also we got Columbia, the detailed guy. So if you guys see these guys in town, these are, this is what we call, this is Eustace Roofing right here. The people that make it happen. So check them out. You see them? These are the professionals. 